Hello there, Golden Hawks. This is your Dean of Students, Christy Jones. It's that time of year again where we begin talking to you about the courses you'd like to take next year. During this presentation, I'll be sharing with you some subject-specific information and some general information as we start the course selection process. We're going to start with talking about English. Rising 10th graders will be selecting between English 2 or English 2 Honors. There is an AP capstone program that I will be mentioning in the next slide. Rising 11th graders will be selecting between English 3, English 3 Honors, or AP English Language. Then our seniors will be selecting between English 4, English 4 Honors, or our AP English Literature class. As I mentioned, the AP capstone program begins in 10th grade year. So our current ninth graders interested in entering this program, which is our most challenging diploma track, would sign up for English 2 Honors with a course code that ends with a W. Then you're going to choose the AP Seminar course to go along with that English class. Those classes, unlike our block classes, are paired together and run all year on an A day, B day schedule, but will get you two credits at the end of the year. For our current sophomores in the AP Capstone program, moving into junior year who wish to continue, you would sign up for AP English Language Composition with a course code that ends in a W and the AP Research course to go along with that. As you already know, those two courses will run all year on the A day, B day schedule. Now let's look at social studies. Rising 10th grade will be signing up for Civic Literacy or AP Government. Rising 11th grade will be signing up for American History or AP U.S. History. Rising 12th grade will be signing up for Economics and Personal Finance. All of these classes are offered in the academic and honors level. There are three sciences that are required for graduation. Those three credits must come in these areas earth science, biology, and physical science. The sequence of when you take these courses can vary. Rising 10th graders, if you took earth science this year, you will be selecting biology or biology honors for next year. Now, if you took biology, you will be selecting your physical science for next year. That course could be chemistry honors, chemistry, physics honors, physics, or physical science. Rising 11th graders, if you took biology this year, you will be selecting chemistry honors, chemistry, physics honors, physics, or physical science. But if you took your physical science this year, including chemistry, you'll be taking AP environmental science, earth science honors, or earth science next year. You are welcome to take other science electives, but those electives do not count towards your science graduation requirements. There are four math credit requirements for graduation, math one leading into math two, which then leads into math three. Academic and honors courses are available for all three levels. After math three, there are a few different ways you can get your fourth math credit. We will talk about that in just a little bit. But also along the way, if you struggle with math, there are foundations courses that you can take as an elective to help prepare you for the core math class. So when you are signing up for classes, if this applies to you, be sure to sign up for the foundations class along with your core math class. An example would be foundations of math two and math two in the same school year. Again, this is for students who would like an introduction to the core math class and feel it would be beneficial. This is not required. So as I mentioned, there are a few different ways you can go about getting that fourth math credit. After math three, math four academic or honors is available. Another choice would be to take AP pre-calculus or AP statistics. A third option would be discrete math honors with computer science, which is mostly intended for those interested in entering STEM careers after graduation. Beyond your fourth math, if you wish to continue, we have AP, Calculus, AB, and BC. These are courses that you can take beyond the fourth that are required. Healthful Living is a graduation requirement class, so all students at Holly Springs High School must take it. 
Most take it during their ninth grade year, but not all. So if helpful living is not listed on your credit detail page that you were provided, or you know you haven't taken it, I would strongly encourage you to go ahead and sign up for that next year. One of the questions we most often hear is, are world languages required for graduation? If your goal is to enter a four-year college or university directly after high school, they do strongly recommend a minimum of two credits in the same world language for college admissions. However, world languages are not required for a high school diploma. So after you have made your core class selections, you will finish off your selection with electives. When making these choices, be sure to pay close attention to whether any of these courses you are interested in have prerequisites or not. Some of these are very obvious. You can't take Foods 2 without taking Foods 1 first, but some aren't so obvious. One example we always use is carpentry. If you are interested in taking carpentry, you must take Construction Core first. But that is just one example. There are many others. So please refer to the prerequisite sheet available to you on our registration page. In the CTE area, if you have taken a CTE class, consider taking the second level of the CTE course as a completer course. There are a few elective courses available to our upperclassmen that you won't see on the PowerSchool course selection page. Peppy, sports medicine, early childhood education, yearbook, and student leadership are considered our application courses. You can find these applications on our course registration page. If you are interested, please visit the site, fill out the application, and turn it into the designated person. As we wrap up this presentation, there are a few odds and ends to cover. Students should bring home their course selection sheet and credit detail sheet and discuss their choices with their parents. Counselors will be meeting with students one-on-one -on -one during your second period classes starting February 27th. During the meeting, the counselor will be able to answer questions you may have and will support you as you enter your course for selection into PowerSchool. It is very important that you have your registration sheet with you for the meeting. It is a good idea to keep it in your backpack so it won't be misplaced. Once you have made all of your selection, it might be a good idea to take a photo of it. You are going to be asked to choose eight primary courses. This will include your core courses and your top elective choices. You will also be asked to choose four alternate electives. I cannot stress enough that your alternate choices need to be different from your primary. All of the students think that if they put their selection in their primary and their alternate, that they will be more likely to get it. This is definitely not true. Power Schools does not work that way. So please choose 12 different courses. Teacher recommendations are visible in Power Schools. Use those to help guide you in your course selection. If you are interested in the Career and College Promise Dual Enrollment Program, please check the Wake Tech website for more information or attend one of our weekly CCP sessions in the Media Center during lunch. Deadlines will be here before you know it. Seniors who are hoping for a modified schedule for their senior year, the early release late arrival forms are available on the course registration page that I mentioned before. You will still be required to register for 12 total classes. Once you have turned in your early release late arrival form, your counselor will go in and remove the extra courses from your course schedule. This is for seniors only. There are also mid-year and early graduation forms available on that site as well. The counselors will soon be in your second period classes meeting with you one-on-one. -on -one. You can get the day that you are scheduled from your second period teachers. As a reminder, please be prepared with your registration sheet to enter your course selections into Power Schools. On your screen now is your awesome student services team. Please reach out to your designated counselor should you have any questions along the way. Have a great day and we look forward to meeting with you.